Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to discuss about Kamunda 8 self-managed setup. Okay, in locally. So in the last video, we did we discussed about SaaS based, right? So the cloud based, how to create an account and how to use that account credentials into your Spring Boot application, the, all the things, right? So in this video, instead of cloud, how to set up that cloud environment into your local system? Okay, with the help of Docker and Kubernetes. Kubernetes we will use for the production environment. Okay, for the development we will use the Docker Compose. Okay, so let's see in this video uh, how to set up each and every step. I, I will teach you step by step. Okay, so in the first step actually, so what you need to do, you need to install the Docker in your computer. Okay, so if you doesn't know how to install Docker in your computer, I have a separate video. Okay, which will help you to uh, go in depth on that okay so again uh, I, I will teach you in very short in this video as well okay so this is the url where uh, docker is there actually you can just download this okay it will download the exe file for you okay then you can double click that uh, and you can simply install whatever uh, steps it is suggesting okay if you want more detail about installation please follow my youtube channel okay so this is the channel link actually i mean this is the video link you can just copy this link i, I will just post it here in the description as well you can just copy this link and you can uh, just uh, watch this video to understand how it is really working okay okay that's fine then the next step what basically you have to do you need to uh, download a kamunda platform file right to in your system okay so if you go to this location okay so this is mine actually so this is our tech bus blocks page so where you can see docker compose core docker, docker compose there is a two different file so the uh, if you see the difference actually so the compose right so it will run all these things full environment okay I am not sure if you want to run the full environment, your system should have the good capability. At least, uh, at least try to have it uh, 8, 12 GB of RAM and some hard disk, whatever it may be, it's required. Okay. So, otherwise, you can just run the core things. Okay. So, Docker Compose, this is a Docker Compose core. So, it means it is just up, uh, up and uh, run couple of things only. Okay. So, if you see that, zb operate task list optimize so i already running those things in my local okay so this is the basic core items operate connectors task list zb elastic search these things okay so okay i will tell you the step by step okay so this is the second step you need to download it okay after you download right so make sure you already installed docker as well the third step what you need to do you need to download this file and keep it in somewhere okay you can keep it anywhere wherever you want you can keep it out okay for example if you are keeping your folder in for example some drive right for example i am just going to create one dummy drive okay maybe just test drive okay or let let me go with some tech bus blocks okay so this is a folder name so just open this folder okay so using command prompt okay the same time you just copy paste this file right this docker compose file into this location okay this location just paste it here okay then after that what you can do just go to your command prompt and give the command whatever you are seeing here docker compose minus f docker compose core up d okay it means it will up all the required core components into your docker before up, uh, running that command you can see only you can see the the first one docker getting started test actually this is the one by default you will get it actually after that when you are running that maybe it will take couple of times when you are running first time okay so after that you can see that so this is a Kamunda platform. It is containing operate, connectors, task list, ZB and elastic search. All it will get run actually. I, I'll just restart my things. Okay. So it, it will run all of these components basically in your Docker container. Okay. So now you've done the 
two steps successfully right so first one is installing the docker second one is downloading the file and running this command in your command prompt correct so the same folder you should uh, just download my compose file docker compose file and just hit it it will up and run okay then the third step you should verify that right so something is running in your docker you should verify that right just see this localhost 808081 right just click this open in google chrome or whatever it may be okay it should open the screen for you right see you can see the magic i nothing else i done i, I i'm not even created the project itself actually but the docker compose is running my a uh, task list in the cloud right i, I mean operate this is operate if this is a task list 8082 let's see see so now in local host in the last video we ran all these things in the cloud right now running you are running all these things in your local okay so i'll try to log in this one okay demo 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 is the default username password which is providing by the kamunda okay you can just log in and you can see that there is no task yet actually but you can see that right and you can even log in this operate so what it will be there operate is similar like a cockpit actually right so maybe as of now i have one process in uh, deployed but when you are running first time you will not see this also okay so you will have some some dumb empty process and decisions even in dashboard you will not see this one you will see the empty okay so that's all guys it is very simple to run it local okay so i will repeat it again maybe first step what you need to do you need to install the docker video please watch my youtube channel it is very simple actually okay just you, you have to go to this uh, uh, web, this page and just down, docker download for windows and you can just run it maybe it will ask you to restart your system just restart it okay so uh, as it is simply like other softwares you need to just run it after that when you are opening the uh, docker docker you will see the first one alone it will run in the 8080 port okay so then you need to download the docker compose file for the your kamunda right you are downloading from here or you, you can even download from directly kamunda github okay actually they are also they are providing these files actually then go to the specific folder and just try to run the this command okay so even you can do this but it will occupy a lot of your memory so i prefer to go with the core core packages okay for, for development for learning purpose you you can simply go with the uh, compose okay you can download the file from here or you can download it from here i i will share both of these okay that's all then the third step is that you need to make sure that your application is up and running so you are just going here just click here it, it will show you the local host which one will open right so just click here the same way you can click for the task list zb and elastic search it will not open for you okay maybe you can try here see it is not opening i will tell you why it is not opening this is not running in your https okay so graph sql it will run in the graph sql okay so i will tell you how to how to utilize this actually why we are running this and where we are going to utilize this all the things i will tell you later okay so this is just to show your image and what are the things you are just running what is your cluster and all the thing okay so hope you understood right so how to up and run your docker right and your kamunda inside your docker image right hope you understood how to run your first application with uh, i mean first uh, setup for your self managed right in the next video i'll try to cover that how to run your application in the self managed actually okay thanks guys thanks for watching have a nice day if you if you have any queries feel free to add it in your comments okay uh, in comment section i will reply as soon as possible okay thanks guys thank you bye bye